Hi, the Climate Change Working Group had a little bit of a head start in that we already had a working group that had started working. Um, but, and we also had a very strong sense of urgency because we feel like if we wait two years to start doing a permaculture response to climate change, it will be too late. So we have come up with an organization that we are forming uh, called, what is it called? The <laughs> Permaculture Responses to Climate Change, or something like that. <laughs> Permaculture Climate Change Solutions. Thank you, Andrew. And maybe I can ask everyone who's worked on this group to stand for a moment right now uh, through these five days. Great. Yeah. We also are eager to have more people involved because uh, we have big plans for creating something that can help make the permaculture voice and solutions more coherent and bring it forward in climate change discussions and debate. Uh, so we have intentions to actually start an organization, a website, a portal where we can coordinate efforts around climate change and ecosystem regeneration and work with disaster permaculture uh, and really do a lot of good organizing. If you're interested in being part of that group, we're going to circulate some sheets of paper you can sign on to or you can come see me uh, at the end of this. And particularly if you're already working on this or you have expertise, we'd love to hear from you. We also came up with a statement that I'd like to read for you now and that we're projecting. I don't know if we can make it bigger and scroll down so people can actually read it. Yeah. OK. And the idea with this is it could go to places like the COP, the Paris talks that are coming up in December. Um, Tom. Henley is putting together a book on climate change uh, adaptation and mitigation that's aimed at policymakers that this can go into that'll be distributed there. It can be something organizations could sign on to uh, that can help give us a coherent voice. It could be used in many different ways. We can link to it from our websites. We can put it up. If somebody wants to say, what does permaculture say about climate change? It's kind of like, here, you can see at least what this aspect of permaculture thinks about it. We'd actually like to see if we can get uh, a claim from this group to actually say that this comes out of the next big step, um, the Permaculture General Assembly of the IPC 2015. So that's why I'd like to read it to you and see if we have agreement on it. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and actually, I'd invite other people from the group if you want to come up and read a paragraph. It doesn't have to be all me, but permaculture is a system of ecological design as well as a global movement of practitioners, educators, researchers, and organizers bound by three core ethics, care for the earth, care for the people, and care for the future. Permaculture integrates knowledge and practices that draw from many disciplines and links them into solutions to meet human needs while ensuring a resilient future. With little funding or institutional support, this movement has spread over the past 40 years and now represents projects on every inhabited continent. The permaculture movement offers vital perspectives and tools to address catastrophic climate change. Human-caused climate change is a crisis of systems, ecosystems and social systems, and must be addressed systemically. No single new technology or blanket solution will solve the problem. Permaculture employs systems thinking, looking at patterns, relationships, and flows, linking solutions together into synergistic strategies that work with nature and fit local conditions, 
terrain, and cultures. Efforts to address the climate crisis must be rooted in social, economic, and ecological justice. The barriers to solutions are political and social, not technical, and the impacts of climate change fall most heavily on frontline communities who have done the least to cause it. Indigenous communities hold worldviews and perspectives that are vitally needed to help us come back into balance with the natural world. We must build and repair relationships across cultures and communities on a basis of respect and the voices, leadership, and needs of frontline and indigenous communities must be given prominence in all efforts to address the problem. <laughs> Permaculture, permaculture ethics direct us to create abundance, share it fairly, and limit overconsumption in order to benefit the whole. Healthy, just, truly democratic communities are a potent antidote to climate change. Both the use of fossil fuels and the mismanagement of land and resources are driving the climate crisis. We must shift from fire to flow, from burning oil, gas, coal, and uranium to capturing flows of energy from sun, wind, and water in safe and renewable ways. Soil is the key to sequestering excess carbon. By restoring the world's degraded soils, we can store carbon as soil fertility, heal degraded land, improve water cycles and quality, and produce, produce healthy food in true abundance. Protection, restoration, and regeneration of ecosystems and communities are the key to both mitigation and adaptation. Permaculture integrates knowledge, experience, research, and practices from many disciplines to restore landscapes and communities on a large scale. These strategies include a spectrum of safe, renewable energy technologies, scientific research and exchange of knowledge, inf information, and innovations, water harvesting, retention, and restoration of functional water systems, forest conservation, reforestation, and sustainable forestry, regenerative agricultural practices, organic, no-till, and low-till, polycultures, small-scale intensive systems, and agroecology. Planned rotational grazing, grasslands restoration, and silvopasture systems. Agroforestry, food forests, and perennial systems. Bioremediation and microremediation. Increasing soil organic carbon using biological methods. Compost, compost teas, mulch, fungi, worms, and beneficial microorganisms. Biochar for carbon capture and soil building. Community-based economic models incorporating strategies such as cooperatives, local currencies, gift economies, and horizontal economic networks. Relocalization of food systems and economic enterprises to serve communities. Conservation, energy efficiency, reuse, recycling, and full cost accounting. A shift to healthier, climate-friendly diets. Demonstration sites, model systems, eco-villages, and intentional communities. Conflict transformation, trauma counseling, and personal and spiritual healing. Transition towns and other local movements to create community resilience. And many more. <laughs> None of these tools function alone. Each unique place on Earth will require its own mosaic of techniques and practices to mitigate and adapt to climate change. To deepen our knowledge of these approaches and refine our ability to apply and combine them, we need to fund and support unbiased, independent scientific research. Each one of us has a unique and vital role to play in meeting this greatest of global challenges. The crisis is grave, but if together we meet it with hope and action, we have the tools we need to create a world that is healthy, balanced, vibrant, just, abundant, and beautiful.
you. <laughs> this is the effort of a whole lot of people who've been working on it, and uh, I want to really acknowledge that it's not, uh, you know, it is really a collective piece of writing, and uh, I'd like to, st it seems like we have broad support for this. <laughs> do we, but I do want to ask, are there people who feel like we should not adopt it for some reason? And please, you know, if you do really, Feel free to say so. Yeah. The gap I see is that half the world's surface is ocean, and, and the concerns about policies relating to the ocean are not expressed up here. Oh. We could add a line, maybe, at, would it be okay if we add a line in there uh, related to the ocean, and maybe we talk afterwards? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just slightly concerned about the statement that biochar captures carbon. I can't mm -hmm. remember how it's framed. Mm -hmm. I don't know Deepak's here, but um, there are people out there that want to do industrial scale biochar, and it's very dangerous, and I think mm -hmm. we shouldn't give them any fuel for that argument. Okay. I think that. Um, again, we could wordsmith it and we could take things in, put things out. There are also people here who are really working very hard on biochar as a positive solution. And, and I think to me, the point is what we say is none of these things works well alone. It's the synergy that we need to create. Um, but we could look at possibly strengthening that. Um, yeah. It's the microorganisms, yeah. So we could look at that. That having said, we, yeah. So our intention will be to get this up on the Next Step website as soon as possible and get our website up and to have a feedback mechanism where people can give us feedback. Um, but we would love to get I just test again, are we okay with those reservations in adopting it here and saying it comes from this body? Maybe if we could, yeah? I see a lot, a lot of hands. Again, any opposition? Yeah. I, I would ask people, I hear the reservation, but I'd also tell, ask people, we can't really wordsmith it down to that level. So, yeah. Uh, she said that we try not to use the word must and should. And I said, like, we really, we just can't wordsmith it anymore, <laughs> right? Like, we definitely want to hear concerns and things that are left out, but... It probably won't be the wording everybody ideally would choose, but is it wording everyone can live with? Anyway. Then we have agreement. Yeah. All right. And we also would like to invite people to sign on with your individual organizations if you feel you can do that. There'll be ways to do that online, but we are going to circulate a paper now if you want to sign on to capture as many as possible. So please write legibly. Uh, if you are interested in being part of this group, also maybe please make a note of that on that paper. And thank you all.